Okay, so I already have my foundation, concealer, and a little bit of contouring done already to start off with. Um, so I'm just going to get right into my eyes. Grab my little tray here. So um, primarily I'm going to be using um, this Bella Pierre pigment in Cinnabar. It's this beautiful kind of plumish, pinkish plumish color. I'm also going to be, um, let's see, where did it go? I want to do some like goldish. I need to grab a different palette. Uh, I'm going to be using my Studio uh, On The Go eyeshadow palette. I am in love with this center coppery color. So those are the two main colors I'm going to be using on my eye. But first, let's start with a base of just this pale shimmer. I just love steampunk, you guys. Literally, I spent two months putting this costume together last year. It is ridiculous how much I love it. Okay, got that down for a base. Now I'm gonna go in with my pigment. I'm gonna be very heavy handed with this stuff. But we're going for like super dramatic here, so that's okay. I'm just gonna put that on the outer third, maybe more like half of my eye. So I got that laid down. Clean off my brush here. And I'm gonna go in with that coppery color. This color is so gorgeous. It really pops. And steampunk is all about the metallics. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Now I'm just taking a clean blending brush and I'm gonna blend those together just so they blur together nicely. And then I lost a little color with the blending process, mostly the uh, Bella Pierre shade that copper stayed on actually really well so i'm just gonna go back with a little more of my reddish plum and add that pigment back in Awesome. And I went fairly dramatic. I let it just blend however it wanted to. A little fallout. Okay. Now for eyeliner, um, again, I want to be fairly dramatic. And I think I am going to go with um, a straight black. First, I want to put down just a solid base with a um, it's navy blue. I just want to put down a base with a regular old pencil. I gotta get real up close to the mirror to do my liner, so I'll be back in a second to show you. Okay, got my eyeliner done. Now, if I was actually gonna go out with this look, I would do liquid on top of it, but since I'm pretty much gonna be taking it off as soon as I'm done filming, I'm just um, going to leave it as pencil. Um, so, 
Now, before I do mascara, I'm going to do my brows, which takes forever, and everybody has their kind of own brow routine, so I'm not going to film that either. Boring! Okay, so brows are done. I did them a little more dramatically than I normally would. I also put on a mascara. I used my Model & Co. Volumize uh, mascara because it just makes my lashes huge and like really plumps them up and makes them curl up. If I was going out um, and not taking this off almost immediately, I would also do um, some nice bold false eyelashes as well. I think I am going to use this e.l.f. lipstick in Blackberry. It is, um, it doesn't go on that dark. Let me find my pencil. Okay, so I also have this like fat stubby pencil that goes really well with it. It is from Boutique Jumbo Lip Crayon. Um, this was the closest, like, liner type product I could find that matches this lipstick. So, I'm just going to line my lips really quick. And now for the lippy stick. And this actually smells and kind of tastes like blackberries, too. So, bonus! So, this is still, like, a very dark color. It's actually one of my favorite fall lipsticks. Um, so, it is kind of fitting with the theme we are going for. You could definitely do something lighter if you wanted to. And now, you could totally stop right here with your makeup. If this is all you wanted to do, and then do your costume, um, and go out and have a great time awesome but I'm gonna go all out and I'm gonna do the soot on my face so I have my goggles here that I made and I'm going to grab that same black eyeliner pencil that I used any really blendable eyeliner is what you want for this so I'm gonna undo my strap really quick so it doesn't get in the way so what I'm going to do is just, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to go through and trace around my goggles with my pencil. Because I want it to look like I was wearing my goggles when I got a bunch of soot into my face. Just remember, the whole deal with steampunk is that everything runs on steam. So that means you have to power your stuff with charcoal. So this is ultimately, oh, I got it down there. That's okay. This is ultimately going to look like I was down shoveling charcoal to fuel some kind of machinery. So now Here's the fun part, and yes, I actually do think this is fun. You're just gonna grab a good, dense, blending type brush. I'm gonna use this round tip brush. It will work very well for this purpose, and I'm gonna speed this up, because um, it's gonna take me a little while to blend this out.
Okay, your smudging of your liner does not have to be perfect by any means. It's okay if like there's some darker spots because now I'm actually going to go in with a matte black, important, it must be a matte black eyeshadow for it to look like soot. And I'm going to put that on top of there and spread that all around as well. So here we go again. Finally finished doing some repairs on this janky old airship of mine and so now I'm just gonna relax for a while and uh, maybe have a nice drink and uh, hopefully these repairs will last me long enough to get back home. So that's it for today.